Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to lesson number two. We are going to continue on with what we learned yesterday. We're going to move it up a notch, and that's basically what's going to happen in this 30 days of lessons. We're going to keep advancing the lessons for 30 days, okay? So you'll have 30 lessons, and each one of them is going to continuously explore new things, but connected to the thing before, okay? For the most part, it will be. So today, we're going to continue on the scales that we talked about. Uh, we're going to take it a step further and playing in different keys and stuff like that. So get your keyboards out. And let's get to rolling. We're going to be in D as we was on lesson one. And the difference is today, we're only going to be using half of the scale, which is from A down to D. Okay, so it'd be like... Okay, so A, G, F sharp, E, and D, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to take, just like lesson one, we're going to play both notes together. D will be played the whole time, so you'll put your thumb on D, and then your pinky on A, and you'll just move down the keyboard with your pinky, with your fingers. Okay, so, okay, now, in the left hand, we're going to use a D with my pinky, and I'm using my index finger for the A, so we're going to play a fifth, okay, we're not going to be playing the third, we're going to leave that out, we're just playing the first and the fifth, okay? So, remember lesson one. I hope you went and seen lesson one. We done this this little trick here. Okay, that's the whole point of this lesson here, to make it musical. Okay, it's a cool thing. See that? So it's like... Now start from A on the pinky and go... With your left hand, D and A, we're going to do this. going to add the D to it now. So you go okay. The right hand is not going to change. Okay. We're always going to be doing this. That's, that's going to always stay the same. What we're going to do is we're going to move the left hand and change chords, okay? And what you're going to find out is that lick, you know, that scale progression will actually work with basically every chord in the scale, okay? So if you've done this, I'm using fifths on this and open chords. So you go, okay? And then if I go down and I move my pink pinky down to A flat and keep my index finger the same, that's an open A, okay? Second inversion, open A, like that. So I go. And then let's move everything down to C, open. So you got C with your pinky, G with your index finger and then we're going to move our pinky down to B 
and that's an open open G second inversion. So it's okay. And then we're going to move the pinky down a half step again to B flat. So you got B flat and G in the left hand. Hear that distance, man, that sounds great. Now we're gonna move, from there, we're gonna move down, move the pinky down to A, and the index finger down to F sharp. And then G open, which would be G, no B, and D, so you go, Okay, this is how it sounds with the stain pedal, it's a lot prettier. Okay. I'm playing it a little bit different when I do that. And how I do that is I go. Okay, I don't go down to the, all the way to the D, so it's like. Let me make one note here, okay? You can actually go down to the uh, open A chord like that instead of this. Yes. Okay, that's how that works. Now that is a great way of playing, like if you're just playing in church or with, for your family at the house, practicing that, you wanna do it in C sharp. So you can just go on down and play in whatever key you want to play in. And I want you to practice that with every, with everything, okay? So remember this. I'm going to do it one more time from the beginning. You're using D and A, D, G, D, F sharp, D, E, and D. And then in the left hand, you're walking down this. And then you go down. That's an A, using the third and the one, okay? C, which is the seven flat of the scale, okay? And then we're at the one, excuse me, the four, but it's an open, open G without the D. And then G minor is open without the D. And then you can do it either way. You can play this like that, which is a D without the one, or you can play like that. So that would be an A with an open third, and then four again with the open three, no open chord with no three, and then another D, which is F sharp and D, okay? 
So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get all these lessons. Like I said, lesson three was going to be building on this and showing you other things that other things that you can do. That's very simple. That will get your plan up in the next 30 days where you can accompany people. I'm going to show you some different things on the next lesson uh, that you're really going to love. It's really simple. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye.